Good morning, everyone, and welcome to uh, ECR. Gerbe has been a long time uh, a group that's been coming to ECR, and now it's actually twice in less than a year that we've had the opportunity to, uh, to come to ECR. The theme this year of ECR, Cycle of Life, is really a complement, I would say, to what Gerbe is working on in terms of trying to uh, help our professionals on the CT and the uh, MRI side in terms of radiology. But we have the pleasure today of having uh, Adrian Brady with us, who's the president of ESR. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. What is the ambition or what is the, the meaning for you behind the Cycle of Life theme this year? It occurred to me that radiology is often siloed. We often think in terms of a modality or we think in terms of a subspecialty interest or a body part or a, an age group part. Radiology, in fact, interacts with people right throughout their lives, not just about disease, but sometimes about promoting health, uh, screening populations. We can utilize and do utilize radiology prenatally. We utilize radiology post-mortem and everything in between. And I thought that there's a nice coming together of thoughts there between a cycle of life and the impact of our specialty throughout life uh, is not divorced from that. Much of what we're doing environmentally can have negative effects. So uh, we are, within this Congress, considering uh, how can we make radiology more sustainable? How can we reduce our environmental impact? How can we reduce our negative impacts on patients? while still providing the societal and, and personal patient benefits that we do. That's Gerbe super has interest important in for that. us, and that's what, yeah. it actually fits well with us because our theme is really around reducing the dose. Mm. And we reduce dose is really both around the cycle of life of the patient, but also the cycle of life of the environment, because by reducing the dose, we're able to inject less into the patients, but also to have less that goes back out into the environment. Yeah. And you see, uh, you'll see this year from a Gerbe perspective, um, we've kind of refocused our strategy really around our core diagnostic imaging business and our products in that area, which we're uh, showing this year on the booth. So we're very excited that the, the two really fit together. We actually have a symposium on a Saturday uh, around this theme. So uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for us as well. So what else does Gerbe have this year that's new? What, what so should we, we be looking for? we uh, also have some of our AI innovations, so artificial. We talk about it as augmented intelligence because okay. our objective is not to replace the radiologist, but really to augment and help the radiologist in terms of confidence in their diagnosis and efficiency and efficacy in getting to that diagnosis. Uh, we have some new solutions that we're uh, portraying on the booth this year around our injection solution, so quite a lot. And again, fits quite nicely into the theme of cycle of life. Mm -hmm your contrast usage and injection strategies, are you building in uh, consideration of ethnicity, patient size, patient weight automatic consideration? So patient size and weight is automatically built in and we actually have a software solution with our works with all of our injectors actually, where it will go and get the data out of the electronic medical record, highlighting allergies or otherwise take some of the BMI data and from that you can actually adjust the protocols, even standardize the protocols across the institution, which is quite useful for being able to compare Dr. X is using 150 ml and Dr. Y is only using 120 ml. Are they getting the same results? Is that an opportunity to standardize and maybe reduce the dose across the institution with a solution we have called contrasting care? So there's actually lots of areas that we're looking at that fit quite nicely into that. Excellent. And, and do you liaise with equipment companies in terms of CT yes. manufacturers and MR manufacturers? Yes, with uh, all of the big manufacturers because the, generally the injection solutions are often purchased at the time that the uh, CT is replaced or the MRI is uh, installed. And so we try to, find, to have really a, a joint solution together to be able to offer to the customers a complete solution. We have a very small, contrast media is a very small slice of the radiologist workflow, Yeah. but we have the contrast media, we have the injection solutions, we have the consumables, we have the service around the injectors, we have the digital solutions. So our story is to say we really have a unique offering uh, that fits that entire piece of the radiologist workflow and we try to be that solution provider. Well, I'm delighted to hear that because certainly throughout my career I've seen the contrast medium part of our world changed from suppliers who simply gave us the bottles, as it were, and we man managed all the other aspects of it to suppliers doing exactly what you're describing, providing standalone solutions that look after all aspects of our use of your products, how we deliver them, how we triage how much of them to give and what to give. And this is a very positive development, and I, I, I've seen that growth through my career and I'm delighted that that is the case. Thank you for taking the time this morning. We really appreciate it. 
and uh, wishing everybody a great rest of uh, ECR. And thank you, Dr. Brady, for coming well, by. This it's month. an absolute pleasure, David. I wish you the very best here, and I Thanks. look forward to your symposium on Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.